Am I the meanest? Sure, yeah. Am I the prettiest? Sure, yeah. Am I the baddest smoke no, no down around this town? Sure, yeah. But who am I? Sure, am not. Who am I? Sure, sure not. not. I can't hear you. Sure, sure not. Can you dig it, nigga? Suck up, suck Can you dig it, suckers? How you doing, five fans? Here again, another hangout. Thursday, Chris Caban, EJ Boxing Live. Boy, we're going to talk about it, some boxing, boy. Some boxing for you guys, man. All right, so we're going to get into it, get into it, get into it. All right, we're going to get into it, get into it, get into it. So, um, Chris Caban. On the screen, uh, Muhammad Ali. Um, this is a ticket for Muhammad Ali. It's, it's in a couple of hours, so I think it's like the 12th or something like that. Um, to later on today, the service is going to be in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Um, so uh, every, the tickets are free for people to come down as well. Well, that's that's a, that's a nice gesture, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, Muhammad Ali ticket free to go and see the service. So it should be in, like in a couple of hours, so everyone will sit. So I'm just letting everyone know that they come pay their respects and stuff like that. I think we live sheep as well. And um, yeah, I think that Ali honor the greatest. Uh, so we'll I'll obviously that uh, just let you know guys know that uh, the ticket, make sure you guys tune in to watch Muhammad Ali over in America. I don't know what time it, like we're probably gonna get it like because uh, we're five hours in front of you guys, so we'll probably get it like in the afternoon and stuff like that. But anyway, man, Chris, how you doing, bro? How you been? Chris Caban. Okay, Chris is on mute. Um, I'm right. doing good. I'm, saying I'm chilling. My bad. <laughs> That's all right. No problem, Chris, man. All right, Chris, man. Yeah, I was just letting everyone know about um, the take uh, Muhammad Ali, the, 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 the thing. What did you think about? Um, give me your take on Muhammad Ali real quick as a person. As a person, he's a good guy. He's yeah. a civil rights guy, humanitarian. Can't say because he's he's just more he's more than boxing he's just more than boxing you can see everybody politicians different people he's more than just boxing absolutely man yeah well said I could quit what Chris is saying man he's more than boxing man all right man but it's been a tough week I, I, like I was affected by Muhammad Ali's passing I ain't, everybody was affected by it. yeah I ain't nothing everybody like. got in the box most people the first boxer they studied was probably Ali. Yeah. yeah, I haven't done anything like this is the first boxing thing I've done like since then. I haven't been interested in doing it after Ali passed and stuff like that. So uh, we will honor it like and get back on get back on the thing. Man. I'm sure Ali will us to do this. you will jump back on the on the, on the ball, so to speak. So first off, yeah, we got on um, Friday the tenth over here in um, Friday the tenth over in London, England. We have Enzo Mekanaki, the cruiserweight, fighting uh, Domoto Karashi. Um, this guy, Karashi, fought Alinga Mabuku, the one who got knocked out by Tony Bellew. And, uh, he beat Malinka, Malinga Mabuku, um, Makaku, beat him. And so they're fighting, uh, Enzo's fight him and fight for the European title. Uh, who do you think is going to win this, Chris? That fight, Chris. I seen that fight. The the um the guy that Tony Bell you fought him. I seen that fight, but I think Enzo should beat that guy though. Yeah, Enzo, guy. yeah. You remember Enzo knocking out Ray Jones Jr. Right? Couple. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Enzo, I think Enzo should beat him. I, I, I'm gonna go Enzo. Enzo, Enzo should beat him. Enzo should beat him. If Enzo don't beat that guy, I think he might need to retire. Uh, yeah, maybe. I got Enzo about about twelve round this in the UD. What you got? Enzo should be able to get that guy out there. I think Enzo should stop him by eight. All right. Nice and easy, man. Going down to... Um, Yo, I, can, I can't Maddie. talk. I can't talk. Yeah. Yo, go ahead, Nate. Go ahead, Nate. Y'all disrespect the eye, King. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you was there, my brother. So, uh, Enzo, Mc, Enzo, Enzo McInerney versus the, the, the Mewtwo Kakashi. Co- 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 
Fresh off the Roy Jones Jr. destruction, man. Enzo blasts this guy out of there within seven, man. He can he can punch, man. If one thing he could do, he could punch. And uh, and from what I see, the guy, um, he's a yeah, he, yeah. He can't he can that that dude can't crack off Enzo Enzo's chin like that. You know what I'm saying? Enzo's chinny, but that dude will not crack his chin. He'll he'll be able to take that dude's punches and he'll get that guy out of there. And, and they're match they're matching them carefully. They're trying to get him back to another title, so I'm sure they're not putting him in there with anybody too dangerous. Right. Well, that guy, the only one he lost to is Meningo, and Meningo's among the biggest punches in the division. He yeah, but but um. EJ, I don't rate Malinga like that because I seen a guy. I was watching Daily Motion. I seen a guy with beating up. I forgot the dude's name. He beat the hell out of Malinga. I can't even say his name right now. I ain't never rated Malinga like that. Oh, That's why I picked Tony Bell you to beat him. You and you was you and Nate picked that right? Yeah, yeah. me and Nate. Yeah, you and Nate. <laughs> <laughs> remember that. Remember that, EJ. Remember that. Hey, hey, I picked Tyson. Yo, yo. I mean, Tyson Fury to be uh, Klitschko. Who's oh, up, bro? Who that? Let's be Mars. Let's be Mars. What's good, he fellas? What's up? Yeah, yeah. What's up? So my wife was in your city the other day, man. She went to that jazz festival. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, it, got, it, it got rained out and tornadoed out, man. She said they they was rushing to me off the stage. Ah, uh, true indeed. I'm out with indoors on the weekend. You check it? <laughs> Yo. Hey, before I get, hey, uh, so Muhammad Ali's uh, possession is going to be, it's free for everyone to go. It's going to be a couple hours live stream, so I'll just let you guys know for everyone who's shooting in now. Check it out. Muhammad Ali's possession, um, really great. I'll check it out a couple hours and be all over. But, gosh, you know Enzo, Mac Enzo, Enzo McInerney, the guy beat Roy Jones, he's going against this guy, Marcel Karashi, um, for the European Cruiserweight title, 4 round. How do you see that fight again? Man, I don't know the opponent. I know Enzo, but I don't know who his opponent is, you know what I mean? Hmm. I can't even call it. All right, that's, that's cool. That, that's straight, man. All right, Who's we, that guy? Who is he? Man, he, he? He went 12 rounds with uh, Alinga Makubu, one in Tony Belly, you know? Oh, with Makabu? Yeah, Makabu, yeah. He went 12 rounds with him. Like, What's his name again? Man, his name's Cook. Tomato Karasi. Man, it, like, his name is, it's, it's a Russian name. Part of yeah, I've probably seen that fight because I've seen a few Makabu fights. Yeah. I just probably don't remember the name. All right. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, mm. Missing a few shows on Sunday. That same is old, B-Mars. That dude can't fight with me. <laughs> B-Mars is nice. b is white. Well, he don't know too much about him, so he ain't going to put himself out there. That's like... <laughs> yeah, but I just... Who dude knows if I? Yeah, but hey, here's something you hate, right, though. In Vernon, New York, Showtime, for everyone watching, yeah? All right, Ruzan Potnikov versus John Molina. I'm going to go straight off the bat. I'm going to pick. They're both terrible, you know, but I'm going to pick uh, Ruzan. Now, I, John Molina's good, you know? Like, but he's just looking shot these days. I think Ruzan looked garbage as well. I think Ruzan probably got a bit more than John. I'm going to go with Ruzan Potnikov. Eight-round stoppage. Chris Caban, how you see that? I'm going to go with Ruslan, probably by a six-round stoppage. I think he can take a punch better than um, Molina can take a punch. And yeah. um, he does, and he hits harder, I think. So I got about a six-round knockout um, that, for yeah. Vartnikov. It's, it's at 140 as well. So, like, and John Molina's basically campaigned at lightweight, so you're right. Probably could take a bit of punch better. Uh, how you see that fight again? Man, I'm... I'm I'm going with Ruslan Pavadnikov, man. Both of them are pretty limited. Both of them kind of get happy with their, their um, signature punches. John Molina with the right hand and um, Pavadnikov with the left hook. Um, so they, they both could get drawn into these one-dimensional performances and, and things of that nature. But I think, uh, what's his name? Like you guys said, that uh, Pavadnikov could, could take the punch better. He's been at the weight longer. He's more acclimated to the weight. Um and we see how he 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 did in there. He 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 actually lasted the twelve rounds and took took on um, uh, uh, Lucas Matisse's best shots while what his name crumbled under the pressure. So I'm gonna go with uh, Rusin Provodnikov within eight. Yeah, yeah, I see that as well. Hey, go ahead, uh, B Marsh. 
Um, Ruslan and, and John Molina, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a war. I think it's going to be a slugfest, you know what I mean? Um, you know, but uh, I think at this stage of John Molina Jr.'s career, them fellas washed up, man. You know, he, he lost to an old ass Humberto Soto, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'll probably go with Ruslan. You know, Ruslan is finally the A-side, you know what I mean? Um, Showtime, they're showing them more love than, than what HBO was showing them. So I think he's going to show and prove, and he'll probably get this man, uh, John Molina, out of there probably in about, I'll probably say, eight, eighth to ninth round. You know what I mean? Eighth to ninth round, TKO. Tony Ayo is a good one. Tony Ayo in the comment chat. He goes, I got, Rush, I got the Russian because I want to see uh, Bruno in the fall. Um, that's interesting. I wonder if Bruno Wuzum will fight Bruno in the fall. That's interesting. I, I wouldn't mind seeing that. But I don't think Bruno can make 140. Um, he, he can't make 140 no more. So Russell Ru Ru fought at 47 before, and he was pretty. He, he did a pretty great, good job against um, Timothy Bradley. Tim Bradley, I mean, yeah. yeah I, I think Bradley edged it out, but there was a lot of people ringside that thought um, Provonikov might have won. That's yeah. true. Start, please be star Provonikov won. Uh -huh. See? Yeah, I, I think Ruslan even cried when he heard the decision against Bradley, man. That fellas was distraught, you know what I mean? He thought he won the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you, know hear that damn, you hear that damn um, interview with Al Hamer, I mean, um, Bob Aaron did about Provotnikov, like, late December. He was mad. <laughs> he went to Showtime to get this fight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't peeped that one. He ain't got no more options on Provotnikov, so the promoter took him to Showtime. They ain't going to get all them fights with Al Hamer fighters. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't mind seeing the Bruno fight for real, though. Yeah, I'm, yeah. That's where the dough is. The only the only gr good fight over there um, on sh sh um, HBO for him was uh, the Rus and Pobanikov fight, and I mean that was the Lucas Matisse fight, and you know that's done. Yeah. It's a done deal because um, he he was offered the Terence Crawford fight, and he didn't take it. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I understand now. I understand why he didn't take it. Now that you guys say that, he didn't want want to be locked into top rank anymore. Yeah. He was well, going to get any more favors. Um, then he was going to have to get that Crawford fight. He was going to have to do like six fights or some shit. Yeah, some bullshit. You know, you know how it go, man. That's how these promoters go, man. These, especially nowadays, when 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 other people got the shit on lock, it's kind of like the the um, recording business with these three sixty deals. Mm hmm. All right. Yeah, man. So I guess I'm going to drop that in. All right, we're gonna go down. Demetrius Andrade versus Willie Nelson. Whoa! At 154, um, I'm going to find out what belt they're fighting for. But straight off the bat, I like this fight. And we're going to see uh, what Demetrius Andre is about. We're going to see Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson's limited for his height and everything, man. And he, he's always probably going to be underdog in this fight. I like Willie, but, bro, I like Demetri. Man, he just, he's just on the man. Like, he needs to, like, he really needs to just do something, bro. But, like, I. You know, it's it's a 50-50 fight, but I think Demetrius Andrade, man, is just so unbelievable. You know what? I'm going to go. I'm going I'm to be upset-minded. I'm going to be upset-minded. I, I, I wanted to go with the favorite, uh, the, the Andrade, but I'm just going to go Willie Nelson, bro. Like, I, just, I like what Willie Nelson's body of work up to now. You know what I mean? I'm going to go Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson uh, on points, man. Uh, you e duty. Chris, come back. How you see that? I'm going to go... With, I'm gonna go with Andrade, man. I'm, I never liked Willie Nelson. I think I'm gonna go with Andrade by six round knockout, man. Mm -hmm. Just get into the I never like Willie Nelson ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nate. Um, you know, I was I was shitting on Willie Nelson for a whole while. I was I was I was really giving him the business, man, because he could never seem to get over the top. Um, he had that, that, that very good performance against, um, uh, what's that, what's that up and coming prospect names, Chris? Remind me from Detroit. The Tony, Tony, Tony Harrison. Yeah. Tony Harrison. He had that really good performance against Tony Harrison. I mean, he was losing the fight, but he, he did, he dug deep and he found, he found another gear and got Tony Harrison out of there. Um, he definitely had a decent performance against, um, Vonis Monterosin. Um, he started off well, but Vinus Monterosin changed gears on him and was able to, you know, beat him up down the stretch. 
So it seems like when he gets in there with, 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 with the more talented level of fighter, it's kind of hit or miss. Um, but he does have experience. He's been in there uh, with the who's who. But it seems to me he's definitely chinny at the weight class. He, does, he, re he refuses to use his assets in there. He doesn't fight tall at all. He does too, ma too much inside fighting. His defense is suspect. And uh, Demetrius Andrade is just the, the better all-around, more talented fighter um, with pop, with better defense, can get out of the way of these, uh, some of these telegraph wide punches that, that, that um, Willie Nelson likes to throw. And I think um, uh, Demetrius Andrade... Uh, I'm going to say a dominant a dominant 12 round unanimous decision but if he gets stopped he gets stopped late. All right. So you got you got Demetri Andrade by a decision. Yeah. If the stoppage comes it's going to be it's going to be late. It's not going to be like a, a blowout early. But he cuz cuz Willie Nelson could take a few punches here and there and, and Demetri Andrade can punch but he's not a banger. So I feel that uh, Willie Nelson could help, could stand up to his shots. He's not because he's not a puncher like that. All right, cool man. Well, that's a good position. Go ahead, B. Marsh. How you sit? Um, yeah, you know w Willie Nelson is a tall dude, man. He's a tall dude, but you know the guy sometimes writes. He fights rather small, you know. what I'm saying, um, you know the man Vanis Matarosa took him to school, you know. what I'm saying, and that's a common opponent that uh, you know, with with Demetrius Andrade, you know what I mean, and um. <laughs> I think the man Andre is southpaw style. He's also a tall guy himself, you know what I mean? You know, he's a tall dude and um I think uh I think he's gonna outbox um Willie Nelson for twelve rounds and w win a unanimous decision, you know what I mean? I I probably got him winning probably nine of twelve rounds for a unanimous decision. Wow man, yeah man. It's good man. You see the opposite way from me. But I'm gonna come back yeah. at you, Muscles. I I kinda left you at the back. So you're gonna start this one. In New York. So we got uh, in New York, the Showtime, and in New York as well. HBO is in New York as well. We got uh, we got Rowan Martinez versus Valencio uh, Lomachenko. Uh, Vas Vas what's it? Vas 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 what's his name again? Vas Vasilino. Oh, Vasilino Lomachenko. <laughs> Vasil. I ain't go. Vasil Lomachenko. All right, we're gonna start with B Marsh. I'll come at the other way now. B Marsh. Yeah. How you see that fun? How you see that fight again? Uh, you know, I think this is gonna be my upset special of the week, you know what I mean? Um, you know, you know, the man Rocky Martinez, he's a three time world champ, you know, but he, he is definitely a a B class level fighter. He's definitely not an A class fighter, you know what I mean? And I don't know if Lomachenko is either, you know. Lomachenko ever since he got that belt from uh when he won the vacant belt against Gary Russell, he's fought a bunch of nobodies, you know what I'm saying? And sure enough he has knocked two out of the three opponents. He's knocked them out, you know what I mean? But who are these guys he's fighting, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he hasn't really proven whether he's improved or not. You know, he might look dazzling and flashy against these nobodies. But, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think I'm think i going to have to ride with Rocky Martinez. I think Rocky Martinez, he's a guy who's beat Salido once, you know. He's dropped Salido a couple times in that very first fight they fought. And... Um, I think he's a guy, you know, Vasil Lomachenko is definitely the better boxer. You know, if if, if Roman Martinez keep, lets this man stay on the outside and be the outboxer, then um, he probably has no chance. So uh, I'm expecting um, Roman Martinez to uh, to go in, in there with, with roughhouse tactics and uh, go to the body and put pressure on the man, you know what I'm saying? Um, the man, Rocky Martinez, he can pressure fellas, you know what I mean? He can, you know, he sure enough, he put the pressure on, on Salido in the first fight, you know, so um, I think that's his only way of winning, plus, you know, he's already, he's going to have the crowd behind him, uh, the, the Puerto Rican contingent going to be out there for uh, Puerto Rican Day Parade weekend, and um, I think they're going to help him, man, try to rally and get this victory, you know what I'm saying, and, um, you know, um, the man, I think he's going to pull off the upset, and uh, he's going to win a, uh, a, a close decision, I see a split decision victory for for Roman Rocky Martinez. Who man? Right? Nice. Yeah. Go ahead, Nate. Man, okay. Very biased pick. R Rocky Martinez by total destruction. Have I not play? <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, Rocky Martinez by total destruction. I don't care if it happens or not, but I'm not 
freaking picking Lomachenko in this. I'm, I'm being obviously biased. I'm telling the whole world that this is a biased pick. You know what I mean? I don't care how good Lomachenko is or how good he looks against his little punk ass limited opponents. Yeah. I'm picking Rocky Martinez. Peace. Peace. All right. <laughs> Chris, Chris Goodman. Very dangerous fight for Lomachenko because I think um, Roman Martinez, he got a pretty good jab, too, and he can box from the outside, and he got long reach. And not only that, he can he, he can hurt you. He knocked Mikey Garcia down. Uh-huh. He beat Salido. So I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if um, Roman pulls it off, but I'm going to go with um, I'm gonna go with Lomachenko. And um, I think Lomachenko might see the canvas though. Mm. He gets back up. I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna. I don't, I'm gonna go with um. Ah, this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say Lomachenko, but I I can't do this because he ain't never fought nobody like Roman Martinez yet. All right, look, man. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just pick. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna call it. 115, 113, Lomachenko. Okay, I, I'm gonna go. Nice with, yeah, I'm gonna go UD on Lomachenko. I think, uh, yeah, I, I think they're picking him to, to look good. At. I, I can see why not he didn't pick him. You know what I mean? I can see that, but like, like mm. it's not picked for Lomachenko to look good. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't gonna look I, good in this fight, I guarantee. No, nah, he won't. But this is where he's supposed to showcase his his skills, man. Because he ain't fought no one since Salido. So you know, but he's this is a soft pop kind of thing. You know what I mean? Because Roman, he, he, you know, Martinez looked look fragile, but he, he come on good lately, but Lomachenko should be able to do him. I want Lomachenko by a United decision on this one. All right, we're moving on. Uh, what we got here? Man, I'll make the screen smooth. All right, let me do this. Okay. Uh, Felix Badejo first, fighting one. Uh, Jose Martinez. Wow. Now, I don't, even, I don't know who he is, but he's probably Man, a no Felix one. Badejo, Badejo, Felix Badejo. By, Felix Badejo by probably knockout or UD. Go ahead, Chris. This is a fight for um, Felix Verdejo to look good in front of the Puerto Rican Day Parade crowd. It's going to be a knockout. It's an easy fight. He needs to step up his competition, though. Yeah, he does, man. He does, man. Go ahead, Nate. Verdejo, Boricua, go and stop. <laughs> it's time, man. It's time to step it up. Who is this Uber driver that you're fighting, fam? It's my cousin. I don't know who this guy is. It's my cousin, Jose. (laughs) Damn, fam. I don't know who this guy is. There's only so much showcase fights that Top Rank could give you, man. Felix Verdejo by total devastation. Maybe within three. Because this this cat, I don't know who he is. Nobody. They pulled his name out of a hat. You know what I'm saying? I think nobody ever to get him a big knockout in front of that crowd. Yep. Uh, Puerto Rican Day p- Parade uh, showcase fight. Get the hell out of here with that shit. Peace. Be much. Yeah, you know, I, I also know, don't know who uh, Verdejo's opponent is, just like most of his opponents, you know what I mean? You know, he is still undefeated, you know, 21 and no, but, um, you know, I, I'm not too sure who his opponent is. So I'm expecting... um. Like Chris said, I'm expecting the man to um, come in, you know, get an easy touch-up, tune-up fight uh, in front of the Puerto Rican fans, you know what I'm saying, in, in, in uh, Madison Square Garden. So, you know, I probably got him winning by either KO or TKO, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah he's he's gonna, definitely going to have an opponent in there to make Verdejo look good, you know? I'm in a box right now. I'm trying to I'm trying to find the guy. Maybe they might change the opponent actually. So it might not be even that dude. So me just one minute. Yeah, that dude, man, it's time for him to step up. You got over twenty fights. What you like? He's going backwards. It, it seems like it, man. He had so much like buzz about him from the twenty twelve Olympics. So let's see this. I must team. say, I ain't never really rated him. Like, he's fighting that dude. I just found the dude. I found that dude. Yeah, he's fighting that dude. But Draza had like, got the same yeah, amount of fights. Dude, 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 the dude's only lost. He's only lost twice, you know. Guys yeah, but Pedraza got the same amount of fights, um, EJ, and he fought better competition. They got the same amount of fights. Why is this dude yeah. fighting people like that? This guy's from Mexico as well. Like, you're right, man. He's 30 years of age. He, he ain't really done anything. He's been in Mexico all of his career. Right. So, like, you're right, man. They, they, man, you know how they put up. 
they pad up records these days, you know what I'm saying? You can fight cab drivers. I'm going to go with Felix Badeo, like, yeah, knockout thing. All right, Zhao Ximing's fighting this guy called uh, Joseph Adil. I'm Zhao Ximing's going to win. That's a showcase fight as well. Uh, Zhao Ximing, go ahead, like, probably he don't go knock no one out, so I got him by UD. B Marsh, how you see it? I don't know who Zhao Ximing is fighting. He's fighting this guy, and... Joseph. Like, okay, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. W- what's his name? Jo- Joseph, Joseph Adif, Adif, Adif. You know, some dude, I don't know who he is. Yeah, I've never heard of that guy, and you know, there's, there's, there's no telling with Zhu Shimin, but um, you know, um, I was never high on Zhu Shimin, you know what I'm saying? I, I never really rated his skills, you know, them fellas about 34 years old, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he ain't got no pop, no pop, no punching power. Nope. Them fellas just fights like, uh, you know, just basically throwing punches out there, man. Um... You know, I'm expecting him to win. I don't know who the guy he's fighting is, but um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, he struggles with the guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. for the round in Tokyo International belt, so he's trying to like, he's got a rank, but I don't know, man. Um, is this Zhu Shimin's first first time in the states? Nah, this uh, nah, this is uh, he, I've only really fought in the states before. Okay, he's fighting China, China. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, cause yeah, he'd be right. on them, them. Uh, what do you call it? The Ven- what do you call it? Ven- yeah, Venetian China. Yeah, yeah Venetian. Yeah, out there in Macau, Macau, China. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hey, that's that's a good point, man. He's making his show uh, debut, US debut in Madison Square Garden. I guess that's yeah. good. That's good for him, man. All right, well, I, I got yeah, I got him winning. Like the guy is good. I got him winning by UD. All right, Chris. Uh, night. How you see that fight, guys? Night. So yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, man. Uh, it's probably another showcase fight. First, first fight in the United States. Mm-hmm. They put, you know, they put they put a tomato can in front of him to look nice. Uh, but he has no pop. Mm-hmm. Even though re- in the recent fights he's been sitting down on his punches more and not showing up, throwing a lot of shoe shines. He's been throwing hard one-twos, still not doing shit. You know what I mean? So he just doesn't have power. No matter what he does, changes his technique, sits down on the punches, whatever the case may be. So I see this lopsided, unanimous decision. There you go. That's what I'm saying, man. And Chris Caban? Showcase fight. So shall me. Who cares? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. I think... Uh, let me see. There's some fights on Sunday, but I think I think um, I think basically, yeah, that's it, man. Um, you know, it's been a hard week because like Ali as well. There's okay, there's Omar Navarro, but like I ain't even interested in that, man. Like, yeah, it's been a hard week with boxing, and I haven't been interested in doing no hangouts, like I said before. I talked to Chris, but like you know, like I said, Ali's uh funeral and procession has happened up in a couple of hours, so we we'll probably will tune in. Uh, everyone will tune in around the world to see that, you know, pay their last respects to Muhammad Ali. That's right. today? Yeah, it's today. Yeah, it's today. You see on my ticket, the ticket, that's Mr. Bashir. Yeah, I see your ticket. Yeah, I didn't know who that was. I thought that was T or something. Yeah, that, I think that's Mr. That's Mr. Bati, Mr. Bashir's ticket. Right? Yeah, okay. Facebook. And, uh, like, I've got the video footage. You guys check it out on my channel. Uh, yeah, I saw it. I saw it when you Mr. first put it out. Yeah, Mr. Bashir walking around uh, Ali's old training camp. Man, yeah, see? man, that was a great video. That shit, that shit gave me chills watching that joint, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was just imagining, you know, Ali's mind frame when he going up there in them Poconos woods up there in Pennsylvania, you know, yeah. and you know, getting ready for an opponent. Mm. For real. Yep. I wonder why they make your training camp in a, in a hotter place, man. Down there's fine. Mr. Bashir was talking about down there. You know I mean, it, but I guess he went those rounds to be hard. You know what I mean? To toughen you up, down there it's cold. Yeah, it's cold and there's mountains and there's woods out there in, in um, Pennsylvania. Them, those by places by the Poconos. You know what I mean? Mm. Ali yeah. used to stand in combat boots and shit, fam. Yeah, yeah. You see Ali on all the rocks. You see all the rocks and names of all the great fighters. I remind yeah. Them. That's it. That, that is you're right. When I saw the names of the rocks, it's all the rock, all the greatest fighters to come down. You mm-hmm. know? Then see all of them, Joe Lewis, Rocky Marciano, man. That's why, yeah. like, 
the old timers like I ain't got time to be disrespecting old time fighters. They're great. You know, be, and this whole argument with Floyd and 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 and, and, May, and Muhammad Ali to be stopped right there, the strapped. Like, like this is the time for Muhammad Ali. He ain't no got no time for that, man. He ain't no more time to hear nothing about like what Floyd's doing his thing. You know, he's live and well, and his family, and he's retired. And good bless, God bless him. Muhammad right. Ali, Muhammad Ali is a great, and like we just want to honor Muhammad Ali. You don't just you get into this point where like and Muhammad, you know, Muhammad Ali will even tell you if, if you. You know, if he was alive, he ain't trying to do, go out for it. It's like two bro- black brothers doing their thing. He, he ain't like that. So the people trying to perpetrate that, y'all need to check yourself for real, for real. That's just my take on it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no, it ain't no need for that, you know? So, uh, yeah, like I said, everyone will uh, pay their respects to Muhammad Ali, procession, Google and stuff like that, man. And it's like, it's been a hard week, though. I ain't gonna lie. I've just... Yeah, just, man. It's been a hard week, man. Um, anything else you guys want to bring up? Well, anything? Oh yeah, no, I am. I am. I'm not gonna be talking about Dillian no more. Like, live, like, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't bringing up that stuff no more. I ain't bringing up that stuff no more. Uh, uh, um, Kim, Kimbo Slice and Errol Spence replacement opponent. Um, Le- Leonard Ben Bundu. Yeah. Kimbo Slice. What do you mean, Kimbo Slice? He passed he away a oh, couple okay. days after. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Talk about Kimbo. Oh, these are you bringing up the subject. Yeah, just talk about Kimbo Slice real quick. Man, King Mo Slice, man, that's like he had a fight with Dada two thousand. Dada he died and came back to life, yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 He was. Crazy, he was a naturally good guy. Man. I don't know why he would take that. That's why I don't get. And it didn't help him because he had no stamina. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It didn't he help him at all. Dada was about three hundred pounds when he fought him, and that dude leaning on you like that took all his gas away. Man, and it it didn't seem to affect him at all because they had him scheduled for another fight coming up in the next few weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So they was they was throwing that shit under the rug. Yeah, it came out when the um, it came out when the um passed the the results of that Dada fight. Yeah, man, that shit. They they That's didn't care nice. about that, obviously, because they he was about to get right back in the ring. Oh, I attacked him as well as bad, man. But 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 when I when I heard the, he had a heart attack, and he's just one year older than I am. That's what. That's the first thing that came to mind. Mhm. Me too, you know man. Saying? Swelling of the heart and shit. Look at, look at. Remember, remember Reggie White? Mhm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was beloved and everything, but he was taking some shit, man. Reggie but, White, the football player, right? Yeah. Mhm. The minister of defense. Yeah. No, I mean like that ain't. How you got in them? A lot of guys getting them, taking them stuff, taking that stuff. That stuff mess with your heart. Yeah, it swells up your heart, man. Yeah. So, so you freaking having a, a, a old ass man heart? You eighty year old heart in a thirty year old body? Yeah, Kim Kim had stamina problem as well. By the way, Muhammad Ali's uh, funeral business already started already. By the way, uh, what channel is it? Uh he's already whatever. They've, they've, right now they're bringing they're even bringing his uh, pitch funeral uh, casket out or in. I've got there's a picture right now that's. Muslims both sides is I think it's the Jewish faith as well. Like we got hmm. the casket right now, you know. But it's so it's I don't know right so. Yeah, yeah. It's happen it's hap- it's either happening or happening, but you go- like you're gonna find out soon, but yeah, I know sad. ESPN is um gonna show the funeral on Fridays. They showing that live, you know what I mean? <coughs> yeah, it's it's sad like Kimbo Slice, you're right. You know, to the death of Kimbo's life, you know, man. He the same bro like it's just, it's four, he's only four, man. That's quite young, man. You know. Yeah, he, has, he has children, man. Some of the some one of his kids are act, is actually in the mixed martial arts game. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's you know what I mean. Hard, man. You know. Um, and so he's a, he's a fellow West Indian man. He's from the Bahamas and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He he made his name for himself on the street, but he came out came strong. He he undefeated in boxing, by the way. He never lost the boxing. Yeah, he undefeated in boxing. Yeah, he mm-hmm. undefeated. 
you never got to a boxing match, man. But um, yeah, man, that's that's that. And obviously, and, and he has Ray Mercer on his resume. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. In hey, boxing or MMA? In MMA. True. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Natty, what's the other song you brought up again? Kim um, Leonard Bundu being the replacement for um Christoph, whatever his name was, yeah, the, yeah. the Russian uh, dude. Manov. Yeah. So, I mean, what happened there? Yeah. That fellas ain't trying. To, nobody want to fight Errol Spence, man, even Lamont Peterson, because Lamont Peterson is ranked above Bundu, you know what I'm saying? Wow! And even that kid Jeff Horn, the Australian kid who beat who beat Randall Bailey about a yeah. month or two ago, you know what? He's also ranked so, above um, Mundo. You know, you know what? What would have been nice, Sammy Vasquez. That's what I was saying too, Sammy mm. Vasquez. Well, What's up, no Sammy beat. Vasquez? You don't want that work? Bundu, I like Bundu. Oh. Bundu's a better. Bundu's better, man. Man, the Vasquez. I'm, I'm just saying, Bundu. Bundu, he's a good fighter. You know what I mean? Yeah, but man, fight. He's, he's, shit, though. he's also two years older than he was, man, when he fought yeah. Keith Thurman. The that guy's man. like three years old. Let me know what that world with Errol Spence, man. Like, Bundu's more on it. Bundu will be on it because he's been the European champion. He just got the belt. Yeah, he made that fight ugly, too. What? He's going to I mean, he's gonna come to fight, but how much does he have left at 42 years old? Thurman couldn't stop him. Memorial status. That was a couple yeah. years ago too. He's he's, yeah. he's older and inactive. He gave Thurman some problems, man. Yeah, he made yeah, Thurman man. box. He made Thurman box. Yeah, well, I think um, and Aaron Spence is going to knock him out because Aaron Spence like, like the Bundu. best body attack. I like Bundu in that fight, man, but I don't think he, I think Bundu. Cause look, Errol, uh, Keith Thurman knocked him down and that. He went the distance and like he's a Yo, hey. Provenly tough that he he destroyed two people's careers, man. He yeah, he, okay. he, messed up, he messed up that uh, uh, what's his name again? Lee Purdy messed up Lee Purdy and he bashed up Frankie Gavin. Like yeah, he, EJ. Yeah, I I recommend that you go with your namesake this time. You see what happened when you picked against him the last I, time. I ain't, against, I, ain't, I ain't picking against Arrow this time though. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I ain't picking Bundy to win this fight. I'm just saying Bundy could probably. Be durable. That's why. Look, Sammy, okay, Sammy, okay Sammy, don't do it. <laughs> no, I'm saying if it was Sammy, in my opinion, Sammy would be taken out. I just think Bundy would go distance. Sammy is gonna get knocked out, bro. Come on, Sammy can't. Yeah, but that's 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 what that's what you do, though, man. You put these young fighters against each other and see who's the cream of the crop, who deserves to be there, and who don't. Don't, don't 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 build him up to the point where he gets the title shot and he and he wasn't no he wasn't shit to begin with. Hey, Minister Farrakhan is... Uh, right now. Minister Farrakhan is going to Muhammad Ali's concert right now. I'm watching it right now. It's like, it yes. Was, Farrakhan is there? It? Yeah, he's there right now. We'll, That's the stuff. Yeah, he's there. Where you uh, watching it at? What channel is on? I'm on, on Facebook. I'm watching it through um, on Ringside. If you go Facebook, go Ringside. The guys listening as well. It's, they've got it at Ringside on their Facebook page. You can see the... You can see the... the mem uh, memory. Yeah. He should be doing the eulogy. Right. No he's, there, he's there, like he over there. And I think brother Nassim Hamid is uh, Nassim uh, not Hopkins uh, guy is over there. I think thing is there, Mister. I think Mister. Big is coming a bit later actually, but like, he was there. Um, yeah, yeah. So Mister. Mister. Bashir is in the states right now. Yeah, I think so. I oh, know actually. I think you know. I think he had to go to Europe for something. Mm -hmm. Who that over there? Someone jumped in. Who that? Is that Gus? Yes, yeah, Gus. Great old talk shows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, Gus, Gus over here. Just Gus, you, you know, the type, you can just jump in, Gus, you know what I mean? But it's all good. Like, we, we're going to continue. Um, Natty, what else we got here? What else have we So we're still on Errol Spence, right? Yeah, I'm, uh, anybody else got anything to say about Errol Spence? Um, you know, the man else, of... what's his name? Huh? Kel Brook ain't going to fight Errol Spence even if Errol Spence win. Uh, you know, I think the, the man's going to jump up to 154, man, after he unifies them belts, if he does unify with Jesse Vargas. Jesse Vargas? Yeah, Kel Brook ain't going to fight that, man, because you see how, how Eddie Hearn and them, they lied that Errol Spence and them, they ain't want that fight. Yeah. That's what they said. But I mean, it's, Spence, it's common sense to see, see that was a lie when the IBF is out there demanding that he fight another eliminator. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He can't fight for their belt if the 
if the sanctioning body is not allowing it. The not sanctioning body it, has right. to approve it. <laughs> I thought that's what the, the Algeri fight was for, you know? Yeah, the sanctioning body said it was Algeri. Then the sanctioning body said you got to fight one more. You can't go straight to Kell Brook for whatever reason. Yeah, they ain't say that for for Kevin Busy and the JoJo Dan and the, the, these guys, you know what I'm saying? Nope. nope. Yeah. And that, they didn't they didn't say that when um Kell Brook was going for the title against Sean Porter. Yep. They could have they could have gave him another, you know, fight to fight before he fought Sean Porter. But mm -hmm. Sean yeah, he sent he sent him right into the lines then, and and Kell Brook was actually supposed to fight, what's his name? And he, he pulled out several times and 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 he and Devin he was supposed Devin, to fight. Right? Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and both of them both of them got injured. You know what I'm saying? And he and Devin Alexander ended up fighting Purdy and then Sean Porter after that. Yeah. And he and and, and Kell Brook was allowed to hold on to his spot. Yeah. Oh, well, the the world wave division right now, like the world wave division moving, but I, I I don't think it's there's no waves there. Ke like Kelbrook don't want to fight. He talks he wants to fight. That Errol Spence said he ain't got no opponent. Errol Spence is the mantra he for him. Like like man, Kelbrook needs to like come on man. Kelbrook needs to step up, man. Yeah, it's time, man. I mean, I I get I guess that the um the the unification bob is okay. Oh, you talking about with uh, you talking about Jesse Vargas, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, man, Kel, hey, Kel's gonna beat Jesse Vargas. Man. Yeah, but Jesse Vargas is gonna get abused. He gonna get beat down, man. Kel's gonna pick up that. I don't know. Man. I don't know. Jesse Vargas got this power out of nowhere. He reminds me of somebody. <laughs> you don't get no credit. You get any credit beating Jesse Vargas, real? What's up? Jesse Vargas got a decent resume. He fought some good guys, you know. Beat Jesse Vargas, man. But he he done got a lot of gifts. Yeah, a lot of gifts, sure. Yep. Lots of gifts. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy, he also got some power out of nowhere, too. Yep. Yeah, yes. I was there live to see that, man. He gonna get knocked I, out. I, I couldn't believe how he dropped that man like a sack of potatoes, you know? Yep. Out of nowhere, yeah. man. I'm gonna say that right now. If he hurts Kill Bro, he need to be tested after the fight. <laughs> <laughs> no BS, man. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if Kell Brook asked for a, a test before that fight. Yeah, because this dude got punt and this dude like his last opponents, he got crazy power. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was I don't, man, I ain't really, like Errol Spence wants to fight. He had what, like eight knockouts up until that fight? Yeah. Kell Brook, man. Yeah, yeah. Nah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they ain't trying to fight nobody. Like, that's the way Bradley I, was wobbling, the way he hit Bradley. I like, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't trying to fight. They look, man. That's why I like the heavyweight division. Cause, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they're willing to fight everyone. Like, you know what I mean? They, they want to fight everyone. So. I mean, what about the, Wilder fighting Ariola? You guys like that? Yeah, that's a good topic right there. That's a good, that's a good paycheck for Wilder. They ain't going to be no yeah, fight. Yeah, I, I, man, I, I, uh, man, good, though. You said what? The build up. Uh, why does he keep on getting title shots, man? Who? Who? Freaking Chris Ariola. Why, yeah. man? Why not, man? He's a good he. What could he brings entertainment, though? Yeah, yeah that's he really lost his last three fights, in my opinion, does he, man. Does he perform? Entertain when you bring entertainment, you actually gotta perform on the night, man. And he don't perform, man. Yeah, but he just he know he gonna put up track. He gonna put. He, he gonna entertain when Wilder knock him out because I see him trying to trade with Wilder, try to show some machismo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, and I see. I, I, <laughs> that's what how he get laid what out. What up, Beats? What up, Uma? What up, Beats? What's good? Oh, yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, we just check out y'all. We got some Beats. Yo, yeah, what's up? What's up, man? Turner? What's up? Yeah. Box of Visa round is here. Ben Uma is here. We live. Hey. Brother Ben, yeah, brother Ben. Hey, Muhammad Ali service is—they're showing it all over, all over the internet right now. So, like, we just gave our little take or whatever, and um, we done our predictions, beats. There's a lot of, there's a lot of facts. There's quite a few facts happening this week. Like, um, you want to give you a prediction on it? 
But you just want to let's chip, just chop up whatever we're talking about. You don't have to, though. Well, I think this is just a um, Muslim procession, Errol. The real funeral, this one's for the Muslims, the other funeral will live at 9 o'clock tomorrow. No, but the Muslim one is the real. That's what he Muslim. Go ahead, bitch. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, we just chop it up wherever. That's cool. All right, no boy, man. You won't put your neck out there because you, you smart. <laughs> It's Lomachenko versus Rocky Martinez, bro. Well, uh, that's Lomachenko all day. Nah, here you go. Straight up. Who's the fuck goes John Molino? I'll go, I'll go for Provodnikov. Sweet. All right. Dar- D- uh, Demetri Andrade versus Willie Nelson. Oh. I-, I think that could be tough. Um, um, I- I'll go for Andrade. I'll go for Andrade. Yeah, see, Adrani is easy, see, but you know what you're saying, it though, you're going for, but you ain't getting no one like, you know what I'm saying, like, use the knockout, nah, you just like, okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 if you want, um, yeah, I'll go for Andrade on points. Okay. I'll go for Lomachenko on points. And who's the other guy? Rocky. Ruslan. Oh, Ruslan. Ruslan. Oh, knock out, knock out, knock out. Knock out for, for, Ru- for Ruslan? Yeah. I know you like Ruslan, bro, that's your dude right there. Like, I'll <laughs> I mean, yeah, dear, yeah. But that, yeah, that was that was it. We was just uh, topping up uh, Bundu versus Errol Spence as well. We was just like giving our take on that one. Oh yeah, I, I, I heard. I, I don't mind that match. I don't mind. They don't mind that one, nah. No. That's okay. Why not? Listen. I mean, I, yeah, they, 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 everyone is dodging the dodging the lad. Then you yeah. know, don't complain when you, all you can find is a European contender. Don't complain, right? The Russians. <laughs> The Russian boy pulled out of the eliminator who just beat Brad Solomon, right? He flew over I don't need to fight him. I don't need to fight him, Porter. He don't need to fight him. I don't need to fight him. Bro, listen. Don't say shit. Mm. Don't say shit about, oh, I'm a disappointed opponent. Bro, the fuck do you want him to fight? The fight's perfectly good. Perfectly good fight. I'm all right with it. We were, so, we were talking like, like, like Sammy Vasquez Jr. should have got, 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 got the call instead of Bundy. What do you think? Well, th- why didn't they call him? That's why I said. I reckon he would have got beat up anyway. Like, Bundy's a tough ass dude, bro. You know what I mean? What, 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 what is it people are uh, saying? Do they think Sammy Vasquez wants that beating that Chris Algieri took? <laughs> nah, he don't want that. Uh, nah. But I want, I want, to, I want to see the two young prospects that they got that they talking about right now at the welterweight square off and see who's the shit. We already know, but it's good to see it in the ring. Man, they're saving that for a title fight. That's what they're doing. That's what I'm talking about. When it gets to that point, you're gonna you're gonna be left, you know, with a lackluster feeling in your in your in the pit of your stomach because it's like uh, he wasn't that great anyway. Well, one of them is gonna be like you're gonna you're gonna feel that way about one of them. Mm-hmm. So it's good to see that shit now. Who's who, and then place that winner against a real fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got other news. Uh, Andy Joshua over in the UK, he's on Essential Magazines and the, news, the newspaper all over it, all over the new chap. So he's making headways all over the all over the place. Andy Joshua, well, let's put that out there. Like, he's, he's on all the magazines and newspapers, which is pretty good. Uh, a local newspaper, so they, 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 they extended his brand, doing pretty well. So I thought I'd put that out there as well. But um, the, the worldwide division making shifting moves but to me, we was beast. We were talking about Ariola and and Deontay Wilder, like whether Ariola should get the call after he's had that many shots. What do you think? Well, it's just a, a marked time defense, just not to waste the training camp. And you know, I, I guess uh, um, yeah, people are gonna say that it's a weak defense, but I, I can't blame the guy. I can't. I can't. I, I, I'm not gonna knock. I, I'm not knocking his decision. He was prepared to go to Russia. They're gonna have, make a mark time defense, and um, I, that, they they better not take him that lightly, you know. They better not take him that lightly. I don't like when opponents are take, taken lightly like that. Mm-hmm. You know, he's still got two hands. And, you know, so, yeah, I think he's a decent fight. Ariola is has been in some good fights. Why not? Why not? Why not? That's what I said, brother Umar. Where Umar? He disappeared. Like he disappeared. Yeah, he hey, anybody seen the, the, the sit down with Tyson Fury and Vladimir? Yeah, I saw that one. Tyson's yeah, crazy. I've seen it. Tyson crazy. Tyson crazy as shit. Crazy as yeah, crazy man. Crazy as shit. That's just exactly what you said. Crazy as shit. 
for real. You know what I mean? He's just like, what oh. you think? He said, like, that night, we, we, like, for the people listening, like, give them a breakdown on, on kind of what he said and, and why you think he's crazy. Go ahead. Well, he basically said uh, that it doesn't matter if he wins or loses. As a matter of fact, he's he's he he called himself a a, a a a crazy person. He's sick in the head. Um, he has suicidal thoughts. You know what I mean? Uh, he just was saying a whole bunch of weird shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was just outlandish. Um, it didn't. It seemed like he he made it look like he didn't care about the championship at all. He didn't care uh, about being heavyweight champion at all, and it seemed like he kind of admitted to having some unstable problems. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Start talking about you know you know it doesn't matter if he win or lose. Yeah. It's just a boxing fight, and like you said, he don't care if he's here today or tomorrow. You know. Yeah. What's your take, Demos? What do you think, Demos? You know, I think he's just basically trying to um, act like a, like a, you know, a guy who has issues in front of Vlad. You know, so maybe you know, <laughs> Vlad could um, you know, might kind of might have sympathy because also Vlad was kind of acting stupid when in the beginning when he was talking about he just ain't let his hands go. The man uh, Fury was asking him why not. He just want to know, and, and the man just, uh, Fury and that was interesting is, too. Vlad was just there. He ain't have no answer for him. So they both are acting. They both weren't, to me, in my opinion, being genuine. But I'll say yeah. Fury, he's that kind of character. You could ex- expect anything from him. But Vlad, I think Vlad is still shook up by what happened to him last November against Fury, man. And um, Vlad, he, even Vlad, he himself was basically talking like the belts ain't important. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just there to come fight and... He'll just let his hands go more. That's what he said. He was asked why he won't let his hands go before, and he ain't have no answer. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was an interesting exchange. That that part about letting the hands go. It's like cause yeah. they, the um the mediator asked him, you know, uh, what happened in the fight. What you know? And he was like, I just didn't let my hands go. And yeah. basically, to take credit away from what Tyson did in the fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's playing my game, and Tyson's giving yeah. it back. Oh, you, okay, that's a good point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Beast, what's your take on that, man? You, you see the psychology war battles. You see that as well? Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw a lot there. I saw a lot there. Um, well, what, like, I think Vlad, he's kind of used to Tyson Fury as well because he was saying, yeah, the unpredictability can pose a problem. So he's facing up to the, the, the realness of the situation, not deluding himself, you know. But it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Gonna be good. I, I I like I like the face up. I liked it, but we 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 knew Tyson was gonna come with his madness in it. Like what Tyson does, he plays, <laughs> Tyson plays down all of his achievements. That's what he does. So you can't. Yeah. 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 I'm saying. Plays you M M M M M M did didn't it? That's exactly what I said in the video. I just love it. Yeah. Yeah. That's you. You can't do nothing. So when someone does it, you you can't do nothing to them. They're already, mm-hmm. they're already doing themselves up, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, and I would just uh, glad that, he makes me glad to he's, like, he's like, look at look at you, you're a chisel specimen, and I'm just big and fat over here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even if you beat me, you, you're you not going to beat me, because I'm still going to be the heavyweight champion. Yep. You know what I mean? That's all it means. And if you go on to do great things, it makes me look good. <laughs> exactly. He was saying shit like that. <laughs> it's good. And then he got his wife involved. Uh, you know, I'm I'm crazy, right? I you know, I don't care. I don't care if I live or die, right? And then he's like, she wouldn't. I guess she wouldn't answer. And he he raised his voice and made her answer and shit. <laughs> uh, shit. I, I've, hey, I've been around the few region now. His wife's pretty pushy. I was gonna get interviewed. James Holder was interviewing him. It was in um, the Nick Black or Uback press conference. Um, Wayne and uh, his wife goes to me. Are you next? He's just got a Manchester action. Right. Are you waiting for him? Are you next then? And I goes, nah, nah. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she pushy, bro. Like, you know what I mean? She's great. Like, she drives him nicely. Like they, they, the two, they complement each other well. Like, yeah, yeah. Happy go lucky guy, man. But yeah, like they're a tag team. You know what I mean? She gonna back him up, even if. Right, right, right. Maybe if it's not, but that's what a wife's supposed to do, right? Back him back. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. And that is in Manchester, so that's gonna be interesting. I think I think Klitschko gonna get booed, man. 
He go, he, he, I don't think he's going to expect. I think he's never been to a. He's out of his comfort zone. And most, even when he comes to America, like the crowd is so so. But in England, we're rowdy, bro. And we would let him have it. Like, they don't want him to lose the belt to Glad. They don't want him to lose the belt to the Glad. So they're going to give it to him. You know, Tyson's going to be surprised how the crap, the, the fans are going to be cheering him. They're, so he, he was also out of his comfort zone in Germany, not with the crowd, but with the opponent that was in front of him, an elusive, uh, herky-jerky, very tall guy. He's not used to yeah. fighting that, that kind of fighter. You know what I'm saying? A tall, a tall awkward 6'9 guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Who can uh, spin yeah. off the back foot and, you know, can box. Yeah, man. So that shit threw him off. And... The crowd in Germany, you know, he's used to. So, so another, the the crowd is gonna throw him off in England because the crowd in Germany, man, they they act like they're fucking watching the opera and shit. You ever watch the crowd in Germany? Nah. They they're not excited at all. Hey, sorry, yeah, you're right. Sorry, yeah, they just quiet, man. They, no yeah, they act like they're freaking watching freaking. They're on Broadway watching a Italian opera or some shit. <laughs> True indeed. I'm looking, I'm looking for somebody to pull out one of them um them glasses with the binoculars on it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. At the same time, though, you know, like um, he's been fighting since the since the nineties, and it, yes. it, this is the one of the most unusual opponents he faced. Not the hardest, because I mean he's been knocked out before by bigger punches. Yeah. But, yeah, of course. I mean, um, I think Lamont Brewster he took out um. Who was it? Galotto in a round. He was hitting quite hard at the time, Lamont Brewster, when he took out Black. So he's been. Yeah, and, and, and you know what? It's not always the, the, the powerful guys that, that make you look bad. Sometimes it's the guys that just are, are hard for you to hit. You so, know what I'm saying? What I'm saying stylistically, yeah. like, it's something he hasn't faced, but I think it's, it's, it's a challenge for him. I, think, I don't think it's beyond him. I think he can make the, some adjustments. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's too late, but I think he. he I think we we will see some changes. I think. I, I mean, I, I hope so. It'll make for a better fight, but I'm. It, it just seemed like he he's been lulled to sleep. He's been in a comfort zone for so long. It's hard to change up, change that up in one camp. I mean, early in his career, he will fight all over, man. But the last fifteen, twenty fights, man, what have been in Germany? You know what I mean? I've been in Germany in front of his home crowd, his, uh, in in his comfort zone with his network, his big Mac fit in the middle of the ring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> He's used to that shit. You know what I mean? And you know, going to Manchester now, that should that should throw him off a little bit. And if you know, Tyson Fury comes in with that same style. Uh, he's had it in his DNA before, but it's been it's so far removed now, man. For him to let his hands go like he said he is. Um, look, I gotta see it to believe it. Tyson Fury is a good boxer, but like a- apart from the face, you know, is 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 I I wouldn't say he's more elusive than Chris Bird or or them guys. No, he's he's got reach. He's got he's got reach. But but like Vlad has to make a few. I don't think he I don't think he's an insurmountable. Toss in, in making adjustments. He's he's not he's not more elusive than Chris Bird, but he's taller with it. Yeah, it's, much bigger. It's a range thing. Man, Chris Bird was hard to hit, man. I don't know if you guys yeah, yeah hard. he what? was. He was slick. He but uh, for, uh what's his name got to him though, man. He got to him and he used his strength against him. Oh, I be a Oh yeah. I I bet Bucci too, but um Vladimir he he used his strength against Chris and yeah. you know he, he pounded him out of there, man. Chris beat Van Oliver, didn't it? Yep. Yeah. It's funny, you but know. They were two smaller heavyweights. I knew Chris was gonna do that, man. You know the funny yeah. thing? Like, if you fought Van Oliver when he was fresher, I don't think Chris would have had a bit easy charge like he did. Van Oh, uh, he nah. I think he still would have won though. Well, you I think so? he still would have won. Yeah, Van Oliver like. Nah, I, they don't fully feel, uh, you know, you know that's not that fight is not far from the Tyson victories. Yeah, but the Tyson victories, he was supposed to lose them fights anyway. Right. So if Vander is up and down, you know what I'm saying? It's stylistically, it just depends on the style. 
Awesome. Evander looks better against certain styles than he does against others. Scoop but, but fights whatever style. Win, lose, or draw. So, you know, respect to him. But sometimes certain styles give him trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's true, that's true, that's true. Yeah, man. I was I was just saying, man, it's just uh, been a hard week in that, man. Uh, Ali and stuff like that. And there's more... <laughs> Like this, this should like for the Y T for the Y T B C and this YouTube boxing people just check boxing. It's a celebration of the man's life and uh, like people posting videos about Ali and saying great things about him. It's, it's all good, man. Like you know, casual, and you, you get a lot of casual people just come to the channels. They not normally would come. Uh, they'd come only because obviously Ali. We're talking about Ali and uh, you know Ali shows you the testament of the man. You know that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's bigger than. Bigger than life and stuff like that. Um, another thing I want to say: Spencer Fearing and um, Ben Dowdy, they're doing. Uh, where is it? Let me one minute. Let me find one second. Let me find one second. They're talking. Uh, they're talking, they're talking on uh, doing my memory, memory service. They're doing it in Hyde Park Corner uh, tomorrow outside. I think it, it, they in Hyde Park. They use a, a corner where people just go and speak like, the topics of the day. So uh, Spencer Fury is going to be there. You know he'll be coming here from Toto -to Boxing and Sky Sports. He's always over here. We always talk to him. He's going to be there with Ben Dari. They're going to be, they're going to be uh, honouring the legacy of Muhammad Ali. Uh, Hyde Park tomorrow, 2.30 uh, in London. So if you're around, go down to Hyde Park um, and check it out, man. And, uh, yeah, that's what I was put out there, man. Because, uh, like I said, it's people honouring Muhammad Ali, even here, honouring my heart mm -hmm. as, we, as we speak, man. I didn't really get a chance on Sunday. Mr. Hangout Beast song on Sunday. I've done like um, highlight rolls and stuff like that, but like, it's the first time I actually come out and said anything about him and uh, with you guys and stuff like that, man. But like I said, it's been a hard week. I didn't, do, I didn't even cover like the fights this weekend. I could be bothered, man. I was so doomed, so doomed up about the whole thing, man. But um, he's in a better place though, still. So uh, that's the way that is, man. Um, yeah, man. You know, even some casuals, you know, who watched boxing over the weekend, you know. The one thing they did appreciate, they said, you know, they're glad they watched boxing this weekend that passed when Muhammad Ali passed because they got to see tributes and all kind of, you know, good, you know, good deeds that the man Ali did. You know, they had nice tributes on HBO and ESPN. Yeah. And that's one thing I do know the casuals, they did appreciate and they said they're glad they watched, even if they don't watch boxing every weekend, they're glad they watched it this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Right about that. Mm. HBO had a really good one. Jim Lampty would broke down and cried, man. I didn't yeah, know Jim Lampty. Did. He grew up in North Carolina where it was extremely racist, and um, but he uh, he appreciated Mama Dali. He went to he went to the first fight. He was saying he went to the the fight with the Joe Fraser and stuff like that. Who um, Jim Lampley? Yeah, he, he got a video uh, with uh, him and um, uh, Radio Raheem. It's pretty good. Joe, check it out on Radio Raheem. Okay. Say, seconds up. Um, yeah. Good interview with, with Jim Lantley. Jim Lantley started crying. He started tearing up. How mom was I looked after his daughter and showed his daughter tricks and stuff like that. And he go, his daughter would never forget it, man. She's 20. Yeah. Now. You know what I'm saying? Even my cousin, she was telling me she met Ali when she was a baby. When she was really young, he picked up and kissed her on her cheek. And I goes, when did that happen? And like, it's like so many people remember that, man. They feel like they're, like they're blessed to even, you know, I, I never met him or anything. Like, I kind of feel a way like, but everyone did, but people who ever met Muhammad Ali, they'll never forget yeah. in their life. Like when I was a when I was a when I was a baby man, Muhammad Ali came to Jamaica and got mm -hmm. the city and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So he he was buried hey. throughout the world, man. Yeah. Well wow. there's a there's a clip I seen, um I, I reposted it on Facebook and Muhammad Ali actually uh, help talk down this brother that was, you know, about to jump off the building and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, I heard about that. I, I didn't. Yeah. I never knew about that. Yeah, he talked some guy down. Yeah. Yep. It's funny because you see the film Rocky, right? That made Sylvester look really big, and it was basically about Muhammad Ali, and it basically was like and the, <laughs> and the bleeder. Yeah, beating. Yeah, but he had the style of. Uh, Rocky Marciano beating Muhammad Ali, like, you know, he didn't win in the first fight, but be, they got him beat, basically de de depicted them losing and, and Muhammad Ali getting killed by a European fighter. And, right. But it was never, that film was, Rocky used that and propelled that, but it was basically based on Ali. And and, and, and that film became a thing, but the trueness of Ali, like, he's dead now, like, this is where the truth is. You ain't no 
bloody film where you, you gonna beat me. You know what I'm saying? No. Nope. The man, like the man, it's like the man's died here, yeah, but his legacy and his uh, thing will never go. It, if anything, it's growing. It's growing day by day. Like more people get to know more Mama like than they did when he right. Was you know what I'm saying? Because there's people. Mm-hmm. This guy, I heard, like people on the train. Oh, Mama Dali died, man. Like they probably even heard it. Oh yeah, like people find out who he is, man. You know what I'm saying? And my coworkers is asking me about, you know, like, hey, I know you knew, you know, you know some facts about Muhammad Ali. Tell me about him and whatnot. I'm like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah man. That's Easy what's up, man. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying, and then like the cause with thing, and you know, people, everyone's talking about it. it's on everyone's lips, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it's gonna be. But it's strange because like I don't, I don't like Michael Jackson to go out that way, but he never got the chance to because of. Uh, you know, all the stuff they, they accused him of. But Muhammad Ali, thank God, yeah, like, he didn't, he, you know, his end days weren't, weren't marred with controversy before he finished Lift the Earth, you know what I'm saying? So, like, mm-hmm. I'm not sure they respect, man. Yeah, they, didn't, they didn't get him, like, they got a lot of the prominent black. Yeah, that's right, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Fever, fire, and this, that, madness, you know what I mean? But I, I, I was hearing that some people say he was poisoned. Yeah, they, they're gonna put stuff out there to just ping, but it doesn't matter what, what they say. Like, you know, I mean, the man was fighting yeah, Parkinson's for 30 years. There was a few people saying um, he was actually poisoned in the 80s with Parkinson's. Is it? Yeah, well, you know, possibly. They, they, you can poison someone with Parkinson's? Well, yeah, you can do anything, man. You can do anything. Right, right, they can, yeah, like, look, man, they're gonna put rumors out there. They, it seems from, to me, like Bruce Lee, Muhammad Ali, them type of people, right? They, 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 it, bro, they live forever. Like, the stuff they, they impact, you see, in mixed martial arts, yeah? That whole stuff, you see that film, Ending the Dragon? Bro, after people yeah. saw that, yeah? That was the, that was the, the seed what birthed mixed martial arts on that damn film. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Muhammad, yep. he, he was so influential. He, if you see Way of the Dragon, when he got up and started moving around against Chuck Norris, he got that from Muhammad Ali, bro. Like, the Muhammad Ali, he was so influential. Like you, you, it's unfathomable how many people the man touched, bro. Like the guy, the, the game, the game of death too, man. The game of when death. He was, when ahead. he was going up those different levels, the only part of the movie that Bruce Lee is actually in, but he was going up those David le- different levels, fighting all those different type of fighters yeah. in different styles. Yeah. Definitely, man. Yeah, I mean, the, the man touched. The man touched like his legacy so much. Like the, look at the styles and the hand speed. You know, the great and his mouth, the way he talks, everything, man. Dress sense, cold, everything, bro. He's just a perfect image. Of he do stuff nobody would ever do, man. That's that's Ali. He does unorthodox stuff that no athlete would even think of, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like how the man, you know, would went to the man Sonny Liston's house. And, you know, <laughs> and he had the honey. And, like you said, he about to come and trap a big black bear. You know, <laughs> the man Sonny Liston came out of his house like, what is what is this man doing? You know what I mean? He had a ball just, horn and shit. <laughs> yeah. Ali was just wild like that, but um, that fellas was a confident young man. That's Palm, you know, he accepted, he knew it. And that's why he used it, you know, he used his influence to his best ability, you know, even for equal equal rights and for the civil rights movement. And just trying to inspire people. Yeah, he, 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 like, um, you compare him to all the other great stuff. Like, okay, if you go, um, let's say, if you go past Sam, I think Sam Lent was the best fight, but let's take Sam Lent because he's from a different era. And t- um, even Jack Johnson, they say Jack Johnson wouldn't defend against black fighters, but he did fight Jim Johnson. But Joe Lewis, there was, like, Joe, Joe Lewis didn't fight a whole load of black boxers. And they were about like Elmer Ray, Obi Walker. They they were about, and um, right. You, you, Joe Lewis, like even Ray Robertson, he's got uh, Charlie Burley. Um, Henry, I'm out. Henry Armstrong ain't really got nobody on the resume. They say that Ray Leonard had. They he's got Aaron Pryor. He's got Don Curry. Had mm-hmm. got a few. You like they say had in fight um, Michael Spinks. He didn't rise to that. But Ali took on everyone, man. Ali took everybody. On. Like Floyd's got a few people. They say he didn't. I mean, he could have dueled with, and he didn't. But Ali, 
Everybody. Everybody. Mm-hmm. His professional career because he believes he was the best. And you know, you know what? He would go to your country as well. He'd come to your country. He wouldn't yeah. like fighting. He'll go to wherever he needs to go to. And then when he was ready to, to draw inspiration to fight someone like George Foreman, who was like 10 years younger than him, went to Zaire and drew, drew the energy from his ancestors. And boy, give it. He, he bro, put on a, a, mm-hmm. a display that no one will ever forget, bro. The rumble in the jungle right there, man. Again, no, I didn't give him a shot. If I was the older, I would have thought Ali was going to get killed, man. Everyone thought that like, he going to kill, get lied. <laughs> man, stuck on the rope, rope of dope, made George punch himself up and took him out, man. He took him out in the perfect way, the way George went down, man. And yeah. that, that, them two fights right there, like they will always stand out to me. The Sun Liston fight and the George Foreman. Because the thing is, yeah, if you're a fighter, most people are intimidated by power. And stuff like that. Ali's like, bro, he, he didn't care about power. He would take it away from you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't see what it is. That's why when people, like, they say, how would uh, Muhammad Ali with the rope put the, go against a prior Mike Tyson? Well, I'll tell you what, we have to get Ali in the rope with the, for him to lose against Mike Tyson. But even then, if, if, if you saw how frustrating Mike Tyson was when he went against uh, Larry Holmes and he couldn't get him for a couple of hours before he finally clipped him, would he, knock, yeah. out, would he knock out Ali? Well, Ali took punches from George Foreman and Sonny Liston. Only shavers. Only shavers, man. Tyson ain't beating Muhammad Ali. I don't think he's beating Muhammad Ali, but Tyson will tell you. I don't think so. Tyson told you the thing is, you don't even need to argue. Like people were arguing for a while, and it was it was a good debate. But Tyson, yeah, it was good for Tyson, I guess. But Tyson will tell you himself, I ain't beating no Ali, man. Be crazy, Mm -hmm. I I don't beat that guy. Ali would get to him in the press conferences, bro, in the build-up, get right in his head. Tyson could be the man's mouth. Ali's mouth is is second to none. It's second yeah. to none, bro. Like, Prince Nassim Hamid picked up the same thing, man. He used to do yeah. the same thing. He loved yeah. Ali, too. Yeah, of course he did. Two fights you can look at, man. Look at the James Tillis fight. Tillis fight's kind of like Ali, but he's not as good. And I right. can tell you, that fight is a draw. A lot of people, few people had that fight a draw. But, oh, my time, yeah, yeah. Well, we look, we can go even further. Henry Tillman, twice in the amateurs. I know maybe people that weren't nice, but look how he was just played with Mike Brown. Round and round, two times he done him. And that was, he had the Ali star right there, innit? That's right. That's right. That's right. Right, man. But then you want, if you want to look at uh, Muhammad Ali versus kind of Mike Tyson's diet, like, look at um, uh, Buster Matters versus, uh, versus Muhammad Ali. He had the peekaboo. He was bringing it to Mike Tyson and uh, Larry. Um, uh, Muhammad Ali in that fight. Yeah. I was looking at it because I know Buster Matters, he was trained under Custom Auto, and he was trying to bring mm-hmm. man, you, got, you want to change that fight? Look at Ali dealt with that style, man. Like Ali dealt with every style. I think Ken Norton's style was yeah. I think that style was just escaping trouble all the time. And Jimmy Young. And Jimmy Young. Jimmy Young. Jimmy, Jimmy Young style as well, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Those styles, they're just, they're just awkward, man. You know what I mean? But you know what style I was impressed he dealt with? It was Fingy style. Um, the light heavyweight. What's the light heavyweight? Bobby Foster. Bob Foster. Yeah, because uh, Bob Foster. He, he uh, dropped him plenty of times in that yeah, fight. Bob Foster's a beast to deal with, yeah. And yeah, he's a hard puncher. Hard. Yeah, he was, he was, I didn't deal with him, bro. Bob wasn't good at heavyweight. Good. No, that's what nah. I'm saying. This is what I'm saying to you. But his style, yeah. He looked like he was on beat with light, light heavyweight, a light heavyweight. But a light heavyweight yeah. against Ali Star, man, he, he, you could. Nah, no, no, but in all truth, though, before Ali got to him at heavyweight, Terrell beat him, Bob, um, Doug Jones beat him. Um, and Joe Frazier beat him, too. Yeah, Joe Frazier, he never did well at heavyweight. He never, he just couldn't transfer what he did at light heavy to him. He just couldn't do it. He had the height, but he just couldn't do it. But and he's the only guy to cut Ali. Bob mm-hmm. Foster the only guy to cut Ali. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. There you go, man. The great man himself, man. Ali, the thing when we talk about Ali, it's more than boxing, though, isn't it? Like, it just, we can we can stick on the boxing career, but he's done so many other things, eh? Like, yeah. Jimmy Young fight, man, that was a tough fight for him because he, he was trying to leave. He, and like, like, when he was c- calling Young to him, Young was saying, no, you come to me. Mm. And Young's unboxing was so unorthodox. There was one stage where Ali cut the ring off on him, and Young just put his head through the ropes. I made the referee stop the action. It's illegal, and I think that's why he didn't get the decision because he's doing a lot of unorthodox stuff. But Jimmy Young is one of the most underrated heavyweight boxers. He actually floored George Foreman and outpointed yeah. Puerto Rico. He was a really good fighter. Yeah. He retired George Foreman. 
even at the tail end of his career when he fought Jerry Cooney and he got cut and lost. That was a good fight, man. Yeah. A serious fight, bro. And that was yeah. Ali Ali he Ali all the great fighters he fought, man. You know? Everybody, man, in his era. Every heavyweight. Yeah. You know? Great fighters. Uh, Fraser was great as well. I I mean people say Fraser Fraser was that Joe Fraser was a great fight. I'll even admit yeah. that Joe Fraser was great, bro. He brought that pain, bro. Like he brought I know George Foreman dealt with him, but bro, he brought it, man. Joe Fraser, bro, he there wasn't no hiding. When that left hook kicked you, bro, you knew it was the truth, man. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Bro, you know what I mean? No, no joke, man. No, no joke. Them, them In the was... third fight, if if I, if Joe Frazier ain't quit, Ali wasn't, was, wasn't trying to come back in the 15th round. He had had enough, too. He had yeah. fought to the death. Yeah, but he... the man quit on the stool. Ali was so relieved, you know what I'm saying? Because he was about to give up, too, because these yeah. guys went through hell and back. Well, the thing is, it was easy. Everything was easy for Ali most of the time. He's the fight, but that fight there, that fight, yeah. that was like, man, this ain't fun no more. This is a serious. He re- at that point, you know, the real sewer severely of the boxing, real how severe this is. This is like nasty. Like man, I can dig down deep, man. You know, what fifteen I'm saying? rounds. <laughs> yeah, fifteen rounds. You have to dig deep, man, just to beat this guy. You have to go to all this thing. Joe Freeze was bringing it, man. He brought it. Now Yankee Durham wasn't in his corner by then. He died, and he had Eddie Fudge. But boy, like that, that fight there is it, well, not, you, it's hard. That fight is hard because they were both mm-hmm. really the same after that fight again, you know. Nah, he took a lot of damage in that fight. Both yeah. of them. Yeah, both yeah. of them, man. Both of them, man. Yep. Nasty job. Yeah. Nasty each other. yeah Absolute yeah. warfare that was, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I see when uh, in one of the late rounds, Ali was teared up, and Frazier he couldn't even see, but Frazier. <laughs> Give up, <laughs> man, dude, dude. Give up, yo. No, no, I'm not. If it was anyone else, he would have probably gave up, you know. But I, yeah. No. Nah, he losing the joke, man. He losing the joke. Who we got? Ali said he just want to go home after that fight, man. Yeah. <laughs> he had, well, I just want to go home. I'm tired. Yeah, man. yeah. He could have quit after that, but you know, Ali, man, he just could leave it. He had to go back in there. Scorsese, you up in the chat? Scorsese, you here? I, I just bounced that chair. Tell you what, man. I mean, when Holmes started flip putting that jab on him, Holmes punished him. Man. Yeah, Holmes, man. And like he could have done, he could he could have went harder at him as well. Mhm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, that's another one as well, man. If they fought it in their prime, it would have been interesting. I, I would have gave it to Ali, but uh, yeah. I'm not. Let's see. I'm, I'm not sure. I if it proper prime. prom. They were no sparring like if they never sparred or nothing like that. The well, they sparred heavy. Who? No, I'm, I'm saying if, they, if, they, if if he never gave Holmes the sparring thing, I would yeah. have, because when he was sparring, he got a chance to mix with all them great fighters. That's how he learned his skills. So he, yeah. he wasn't putting that surroundings. He would maybe he would have been a good fighter, but he wouldn't have been as good as he would because he was he was sparring with great fighters and Ali was looking after him. He was getting paid. Mm-hmm. Getting so he paid, yeah. Equation, right, where he's not in the spar, he's not a sparring partner. Then I don't give him a shot because Ali brought great fighters into his camp, and he—that's how he got better. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you well, obviously, but what I'm saying is, you can only go. You, everyone's got to learn somewhere. I'm just saying, when he was a fully developed fighter, when Ali was a fully developed fighter. Look, I'm saying Ali's got a better resume. And he's the better fighter. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, if you, when you're talking about putting them two in the ring, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I. I think it's a tough 50-50. That's. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't giving them what you think. Ali would just brush through Holmes. I don't, I don't think no. I don't think no one's brushing Holmes, but I don't think it's a fifty-fifty. Though. Ali's got a uh, way longer reach. His jab is stiffer. He could move himself. He, 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 bro, he ain't never fought no one. Cross, Ali could move. That cross is way more accurate than George Foreman's. Listen, uh, he, he can't hit. He prime, can't. At, at his prime, Holmes was one of the best heavyweights ever. And ever, yeah. One, Tell you any difference? Yeah, he don't get enough credit. No, no, no. I, I'm just saying, this from my perspective, yeah. I'm just saying, like, I, I, I would, I, he, he would be an underdog, and I'd, I'd have picked. I, I thought Ali would have outpointed, but I didn't say it was gonna be easy. No, at all. I wouldn't say that at all. I would never say that. They're both all the famous. I'm just saying, I would pick, uh, I'd pick um, Ali in that one. But like I said, like you put it, out, you put it, out, you put it all the intangibles right there, all the variables right there. It makes it easy harder. 
Holmes is a better better boxer than Ken Norton. Beat Ken mm -hmm. Only just about, but he, but, right? Yeah. It was a close fight. Today actually is the anniversary for that fight. Yeah, I know that was a good that was a great fight, but you're dealing with Ali of a layoff, man. The man's come off a layoff, isn't it? That's the Ali we're dealing with now, isn't it? That's the Ali of his second career. We're not dealing with the Ali just after the, the, the that, that, that was a one sided beat that Ali was finished. I'm talking about a prime Ali against a prime host. Yeah, I just said, yeah. Go ahead. I, I already said my piece. I said my piece already. Like, I got Ali in that one, man. That's yeah, I understand that. I understand that. Yeah, right. I, I, I what you're saying because you're bringing, like, you, you see the variables you brought up. They're absolutely right, man. All them other yeah. factors. Yeah. And you're right, man. All them other factors, if you weigh in today, it's, gonna be, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, but, like, you know, they, they, they'd have it. Ali would be a favorite. I'm sure he'd be a big favorite coming into that fight, right? But, hey, he was a fact. In fact, he was the favorite coming into the home fight, you know? Oh, he was? Yeah, he was the favourite. Yeah, everyone had him in the favourite. That was misguided, though, wasn't it? That was just misguided. Yeah, but that's, but that's because... They, and then what were they saying? Because he was former sparring partner. Ali should be able to beat him. That was the thing, man. That's always... And that was Ali when he was dipped. So I'm just saying, you know, yeah, he would have been the favourite regardless, but, you know, that's... You know, hey... Holmes had about four inches of reach on him, man. Holmes was... I four guys with longer reach on him before. Yeah, but not like... No one had a jab like um, um, Holmes who Ali faced. No. Oh, oh, what? Oh. Listen, 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 jab. Listen, jab is pretty good. Only listen. You can yeah, yeah listen. he had a long reach. Longer than longer than Ali's man. Longer than Ali. Ali's is quick man. Quick. But you know, like I said, in it, you, you bring you bring a good point though, because you don't have the same mobility Holmes had. Like, no, 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 he doesn't. But but my home home was home wasn't like. Well, like a good man, he, he, he moved faster than Liston, though. Move fast. He had quick yeah. hand speed, too. Yeah, yeah. That jab come through like a like a shotgun, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where do you think he learned that from, though? Ali's in the training camps, isn't it? Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying to you. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why it would be such a... That's why it would be such a... Because look, 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 look. Our Holmes studied Ali more than Ali studied Holmes. So that's oh. why it's so difficult. Holmes already... Listen, Holmes has criticized Ali. He said, Ali isn't that good a boxer? Holmes said, I took his jab and made it a better jab. He said he studied Ali's jab. It was fast. Yeah, exactly. He said he, he, he managed to make it into a stiff weapon that yeah. he tried to walk through. That's that's true, but this is the thing, yeah? Like, if he wasn't, again, if he wasn't in that camp, you're learning all that stuff, and if you just take him out of the equation, but obviously, if you, Ali didn't know he was going to be fighting this dude. Yeah, you can say that, right? You see what you're saying? Yeah. There were lots of people in Ali's camp. How could they didn't become as good as Holmes? No, nah, who in Ali's camp? Who who in Ali's camp when he had them in the camp ended up fighting him? Jimmy Young. Jimmy Young. He beat yeah. him. Well, Ali, beat, Ali beat him in it, fair and square, right? Yeah. Who else in the uh, camp? I, I, I can't reel off a massive. No, nah, no, nah, I'm just saying, like, so Jimmy I don't, I don't think Ali would have been. I don't think Ali fought. Yeah, he was Tim Witherspoon was an Ali sparring partner. Tim didn't fight nothing like Ali. No, no, I'm talking about. I said the no, guy. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. No, right. Riverspoon didn't fight nothing like Arnie, but Holmes had a similar style to Arnie. So being in the spot in in the camp, mm -hmm. tells you a certain amount of, of how the fight is gonna come. Out. It doesn't tell you that he's gonna fight like Arnie. But no, Holmes, I wasn't saying that. I was saying to you, being in the camp, yeah, that Ali didn't think that eventually this guy I'm gonna be fighting this guy. I don't think he ever thought that. If he knew that eventually this guy I'm gonna be fighting him. I don't think this guy would have been in the cap, but the, but Larry Holmes had them things in his mind that he said, "I'll fight anyone. I'll take him. Of course, I'll take him. I can beat him. I was been in his cap. That's what yeah. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. He 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 he, he was ready. Like he didn't care. He brought for him. I'll fight him. But when he go in there, like he you know, like he said, he he held back. But like he's a good, interesting topic though. But again, yeah, hey, it's, it's the great fighters, man. It's it's just like again, it's two great fighters. But Ali taught so many people, man. So many people, bro, like, innit? You know? You can talk about Ali. We could talk about Ali for keep going around and round and round. Michael Dogs was in the sparring camp. Michael Dogs used to spar with him late, late in his career. They actually had an exhibition fight. Oh, yeah. I, I was trying to point out, like, who, like, majorly, like, in his camp. This is what I'm just saying. He had the best guys in his camp. That's what Ali good because he had all them great fighters in his camp. And he'll mm -hmm. be. Like, like you say, Matthew saw Mohammed. Remember, Mr. Bashir was round there. Matthew saw Mohammed. All them guys here, they still got to the Pennsylvania camps. Cause that was a proper, that's like a proper fight camp out there, bro. Like Mr. Yeah, Bashir. from that video, it looks like man a place yeah, where. That, 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 you know what it looks like? You know mm. what this is like Rocky Four, right? You know Rocky Four. 
where where he had Rocky Falls with the Apollo trainer up in the camp in the snow. In yeah. The that's where he got the idea from, man. You know what I mean? All the ideas, man. That was why he got that that wood cabin thing because Ali had the wood cabin thing in Pennsylvania. Yeah, you secluded, man. Yeah, secluded. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know. See? Yep. That's where Rocky, Rocky, um, first known steal the ideas, man, and no one could tell him anything. Kenny, he was just stealing it. My mama mm-hmm. is a generous dude, like, so he wouldn't even say like. Uh, what only thing I liked about um, celebrating uh, all, all these deaths of a lot of other people in social media, some people get carried away. Oh, there'll never be another great fighter. Well, Larry Holmes is still walking the planet. He went 48 and old. Yeah. Right. 48 and old. George mm-hmm. won the title in his mid. 40s. He's won the title twice. There are great fighters walking the planet still. I don't, I don't like getting carried away. You know, like the, 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 these people think, oh, I have to give Ali such a massive praise to prove what a great fighter. No, you don't. You don't have to go that far. We know how great he is. You don't have to exaggerate it out of proportion. There are still great <laughs> fighters walking on the planet today. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Over exaggerate. That's the only thing I, I like. You know, when shit gets corny, it, 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 it ceases to become realistic or authentic. When it becomes corny. Yeah, but you don't finish yeah? Like Holmes, you're right about them being. Look, bro, if Holmes was the past, when they're giving me, hopefully they give him his just dues. Because when he was when he was doing his thing, they didn't give him his just dues because he beat Ali, man. But like only now, but that's because of all the old sports writers at the time. But like. A lot of people since then, man, they give Holmes his credit. You know what I mean? They give his credit. But it took a while for them to people to actually give Holmes his credit. He was actually a great heavyweight. But they realized yeah. what whack, whack heavyweights came after him, man. They were whack, man. Lennox Lewis is a great. Lennox Lewis is a... No question. Yeah, he is. Evander Holyfield is a great heavyweight fighter. And yeah. Yep. Yeah, he is. Fighter. You're walking the planet. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hey, Pan- 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 Whitaker's great. Pan- Whitaker's great, man. Yeah, yeah. He's Pan- Whitaker. He's a lightweight champion, walking the planet. Roberto Duran is a great former fighter, walking the planet. Marvin Hagler, there's loads of them. Walking. Right. So I, I don't know why this over exaggeration. See, I, I, that, that's one thing I don't get. You're right. Look, we we acknowledge that he's great, one of the greatest. But you don't have to go. When you do that, you give a distorted reality to boxing, to to, to the people learning it. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things. Oh, there's no more great fighters. No. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's an asinine statement. There's plenty of. I still got guys like James Tony, man. He's still a great to me. You know, he's still around. I'm not comparing him to Ali, no. But you know. A lot of different fighters have achieved greatness in this sport. You know what I mean? It's all about glory, and a lot of guys have a, have achieved that. Well, James Tony got nice. When he came first, he came to London. I, I was there. Like a lot of people came out to go see that dude, bro. And I'm sure. Was, yeah, but I'm not trying to say that he he reciprocated the the warm welcome. But you know, I, when Ali came around, it was boy. Listen, you're talking when when Ali was Ali. Talking crowds or crowds, yeah. crowds, you know what I'm saying? And that's the this the you know a fight. If you're just talking about a fighter, then fine. But Ali was like again, Ali was more than just the fighter, isn't he? You see him he used to go to Oxford, um, Cambridge, and do speeches. You know, talking mm-hmm. about all kinds of topics, the war, everything. So it's this is like why a lot of people uh, they they knew Ali more than just in the ring. Obviously, they knew him from outside the ring. That's why he used to bring so much celebrities and stuff like that. Other fighters, sure. they were just fighters, man. There was nothing more than fighters. They were great fighters. And Ali's a great fighter, but he was more than just a great fighter. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A, lot people, a lot of people going overboard because they they, 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 they recognize he was more than that. He could do loads of things, man. Jack Lamotta's still alive, man. He's still alive. Yeah. Yep. And see, the thing is, like, Jake, just mentioned James Tony. Like, James Tony, if. if he, he's he's if I was if I was gonna box I'd probably try and model my style of Tony. But he's only yeah. he got the flag is is the steroids. But apart from that, I, I, like one of my favorite boxing performances was him against Button. Man. Yeah, 
I, I watched that. Te- I remember. That te- <laughs> I watched that about twenty times, man. <laughs> Against Barry and Barkley, right? Yeah, he does. He dissected Barkley, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dissected him, bro. Like, like he was like taking the wings off a uh, bar. Yeah. yeah. He was yeah. Like, I carved him up, bro. He carved him up off the world. I will tell you what performance I I, I kind of watched was uh. Uh, Ronald Ram versus uh, what's his name? Davy, Davy, Davy Moore, man. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Every time I look at that fight, I said, "No way he could beat this dude." Like Roberto's gonna get murdered, and Iron Barkley as well. Every time I like look at it, I think this dude's this dude's gonna work him. You know that. Every time I I I'm always fooled. I see this guy carving them up. Roberto, mm-hmm. Durant, you knew this guy used to be a lightweight. Like this, yeah. <laughs> You know, and James Tony beating um, Amanda Holyfield. Man, I thought yeah. he was going to get killed in that fight, bro. Me so, too. What's he doing in there against him? But that's, that's fighting, you know? And he stopped Amanda. Yeah, he did. He, he did, did, man. Crack out of Holyfield. <laughs> yeah, he did, man. That's what I'm saying, man. He did, man. Crack out of Holyfield, man. Really? Damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 it's Chris Bird and James Tony. I would like to see that. Yeah, I would yeah. like to see Roy Jones. That'd be a good and, fight. Uh, Roy Jones and uh, I want to see Roy Jones and Chris Bird at the time because they were both champions. Yeah, that right. Was, he was the I think he was the IBF or the WBO, Chris Bird, and I was IBF. like, IBF. He was the IBF at the time, and yeah. Roy Jones was on the WBA, and I was like, man, why didn't they fight? Roy Jones should have fought him. Roy Jones should have fought Chris. He should have fought. He should have fought Chris Bird, and they should have done for unification. Even if Roy Jones lost the fight, right, it would have been good for him. You know what I'm saying? It would have been True. a technical heavyweight fight. People, and you would have gave Chris Bird that credit that he never got. He never got respect. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Even if you beat a man, he never got that just do credit. If you beat Roy Jones, it would have been, yeah, man. And then, you know what I'm saying? But it never happened. Yeah, because he came came from the super middleweights, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, he moved up too in weight. He lost a lot of weight, though, Chris Bird. We talked to Chris Bird. He Said, man, he said most of the heavyweights, man, these days they took steroids. That's what he told us, man. So, I won't doubt it. Yeah, I won't doubt it, man. But, no, no, man. All right, man, we're going to wrap this up, man. Man, I appreciate you guys over here. Look, we just reminisce with Mama Dali and all kind of boxing talk, man. Sure and, uh, check out Boxing B Marsh over here. Uh, Chris Caban was here, Nati Turner, Benu Mali, say nothing, but he was here. Scorsese was here. Oh, was Chris Caban, he was here. Yeah, Chris was here. Yeah, he was. He bounced over. Like, the cats were over here, man. It was over here, just topping it up. You know what I mean? Like, we're paying our respects to the great, the great one, uh, the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. So, yes, yeah, man. Well, we're gonna break, man, and hopefully, like, we've done predictions and stuff. We're gonna keep this boxing thing going on, man. You guys enjoy your weekend, and we'll catch up soon. Peace. Peace.